Well, my name is Matt Nguyen. I'm a second year here at Berkeley studying political science. And um, in my major, I'm concentrating in uh, public law and jurisprudence. And I'm minoring in public policy and education, which all sounds like a lot, but really, I'm just really interested in American politics and international relations. And my topics um, for fourth SPD, as you guys know, um, are Israel-Palestine and a Myanmar's transition to democracy. And um, fourth SPD is gonna be really cool this year because um, it's a committee with over 120 delegates, or 120 delegations and over 300 delegates. So it's gonna be a lot of different ideas all thrown into one committee. How does it feel being a head chair? I mean, being a head chair is both very rewarding and um, like quite a bit of work, you know, having to learn all the topics very well and um, understand what the delegates really need um, can really, I think, being the best head chair comes from how you were initially a delegate because then you understand the, the very intricacies of committee. And, um, but it's also very exciting to see the delegates um, all come together during conference weekend and work as hard as they can to come up with reasonable solutions that maybe the UN should enact. Why did you decide to choose the topics that you did? Okay, well, I re I'm really interested in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, not only because it's like the longest running conflict of our time, but because there's so much happening all the time with it. Whether it's the Israeli-Palestinian conflict constantly has updates, such as just recently the Israeli elections, they had the you know, Gaza occupation again from the rocket fire. Um, they're rebuilding settlements in the West Bank. Um, Palestine just got into the United Nations as a non-member state. And so all of these things really show how dynamic the issue is. Now with Myanmar and their transition to democracy, I'm also very interested in it, given that so many updates have happened within the past few years. Um, there's been so much economic and political liberalization, and a lot of the international community has not only recognized it, but has taken steps to help out in this process. So, you know, we're always used to hearing all the failed stories of, you know, needing to increase sanctions or needing to, you know, um, isolate certain nations like maybe like North Korea or Iran. But when you actually see a success story, it's really cool to kind of help develop it. Do you, do you have any advice for your delegates as the conference approaches? Really, my only advice is that just be prepared. Like, BMUN is a very um, competitive conference. But it's also one where you're going to get a lot of opportunities to challenge your own beliefs and challenge the perspectives that you come into conference with and um, how you learn to look at an issue in so many different lights. And so um, be prepared, but also come with an open mind. And I think that doing both of those, you'll do the best in committee and you'll learn the most to take with you later on. And how excited are you for v 61? I am so excited.